are the blueprint for many of your traits. But how does a code that is kept in the nucleus result in a protein that results in an observable trait, such as brown eyes? The two main stages required for the flow of information from gene to protein, transcription and translation. Today we'll be looking at transcription, which can be described as the synthesis of mRNA under direction of a DNA template. Transcription happens in three main stages, initiation, elongation, and termination. During initiation, the enzyme RNA polymerase binds to a specific sequence known as the promoter. This marks where transcription of a gene begins and which of the two DNA strands will be used for the process. In eukaryotes, a collection of proteins called transcription factors mediate the binding of RNA polymerase to the promoter. After the RNA polymerase is bound to a promoter site, it can begin the second step of protein synthesis, elongation. Elongation is a step in transcription that results in the addition of nucleotides to the growing mRNA transcript. The RNA polymerase unwinds the DNA and reads it from the 3' to the 5' end. RNA nucleotides bind to the unwound DNA following base pairing rules. So cytosine pairs with guanine and uracil pairs with adenine. The polymerase catalyzes the formation of bonds between nucleotides, resulting in an mRNA sequence complementary to the DNA sequence of the gene. The end of transcription is called termination. Here, a specific sequence called a terminator signals the end of transcription. In prokaryotes, this results in RNA polymerase detaching itself from the DNA and the release of the transcript, which is then ready to use as mRNA. In eukaryotes, however, the pre-mRNA undergoes several modifications before it can be used as mRNA. One modification is the addition of a poly-A tail to the 3' end of the mRNA. The poly-A tail is a collection of adenine nucleotides that helps stabilize the new mRNA molecule as it moves from the nucleus out into the cytoplasm. It also protects the mRNA from being destroyed too quickly by enzymes that break down RNA. Another modification is the addition of a cap to the 5' end. This cap is a modified form of guanosine triphosphate, or GTP, and helps the mRNA bind with the ribosome. The last step in the preparation of the mRNA is RNA splicing. In eukaryotes, genes contain both coding and non-coding regions of sequence called exons and introns, respectively. The removal of introns and joining of exons is carried out by an assembly of proteins and RNA known as a spliceosome. Once the exons are joined, an mRNA is formed with a continuous coding sequence ready to leave the nucleus.